What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Around the Clock. Today, I'm going to share with you the replacement of the Bentley GT. Welcome to Around the Clock. My name is John, and my personal goal is to own, experience, and modify as many unique cars as possible. All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Around the Clock. For those who are new to the channel, my name is John, and my personal goal is to own, experience, and modify as many unique cars as possible. So if you didn't see the last video, I sold my 2013 Bentley GT V8, and I had a deposit on the car, and I officially picked it up yesterday, so I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So let's take a look and see what it is. There she is, guys. So for those who know me, I mean, if you're following this channel, you guys know what I like, and you know I absolutely love these 997s. So what's funny is prior to the Bentley GT, I had an 07 Carrera 4S. It was a wide body car, it was pretty nice. Before buying it, I said I wanted anything but you know, a black or silver 911. So for those who don't know, this is actually my fourth 997. My first one was an 06 Carrera S factory aero car. It was black. That is the car that I actually sold and bought back a year within the same year. And I had a silver 06 or 07 Carrera. And then I had a black wide body C4S. And now I have this one. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the details of this car. So this is a 2007 Porsche Carrera 4S 997.1. Um, the car has factory aero, it has a six speed manual transmission, and it is a wide body car. So, you know, for those who aren't familiar with Porsches, the rear wheel drive platforms like the Carrera Carrera S are rear wheel drive, anything Carrera 4, 4S or Turbo is gonna be a wide body. So let's go ahead and kind of jump into the specs of this car. So uh, the big seller for me was the color and then the fact that it was a wide body car and also the fact that it has factory aero. Now, I know if you wanted to, you could always add aftermarket aero, but the issue with that is fitment quality uh it, it doesn't match the factory or it usually takes a lot of work to get it to fit as close to factory as possible versus this is a factory option the the option xaa i believe uh, comes with the rear wing and then also it comes with the aero front bumper and the aero front bumper is definitely different than a standard carrera but it's also different than a GT3 front. And the difference is a GT3 front in this area normally has like a black grill. My silver Carrera had the GT3 front, but I think it definitely looks cleaner with the aero. Um, and I absolutely love the car. So to kind of go over the options that it has, as you can tell, it does have the factory aero package those turbo wheels are actually a factory option on this car also it has the factory sport exhaust and I really really like the stagger tips as you can tell the side here you know kind of is smaller and then as it go the outer ones a little bit bigger and I just love that kind of staggered look I think it's just nice and sporty it's aggressive you know, when you stand back here, you can see those nice wide hips. I mean, I absolutely love the way that this thing looks. Uh, to go into the inside, it has a 
like aluminum sill. Normally it's like plastic or uh, like a vinyl material. This car does have the factory bow system. It also has the sport, the yellow gauges. It has the sport chrono, which I don't really use that. Um, you know, I, I just like to, you know, kind of cruise in my cars and, you know, obviously make aesthetic changes. But that is pretty much the layout of the car. There's not really a ton uh, of you know super different options it doesn't have heated seats uh, the car doesn't have PASM for those who aren't familiar with these cars PASM is Porsche active suspension management and uh, that's basically a button that you can press and then it kind of like you know stiffens up the suspension and uh, kind of makes the driving experience a little a little more engaging uh, if you want to go on a spirited drive but otherwise this car is pretty much factory um, there are a couple things that I've already done today. Uh, so the gentleman that I bought it from in New Jersey, he had this car, he had a gated manual Gallardo, and I think he was trying to make room for a gated manual R8, uh, and some other things that may, he may have coming. But, uh, I ended up getting this from him and overall it was very clean, but this morning I just gave it a wash and, uh, after sending his license plate back, uh, well, actually, prior to that, I had the car registered, so obviously I got the, the temp tag and everything until I get it through inspection, and then assuming that, you know, everything is fine, I'll be able to transfer my license plate over to it. A couple things that I've already done to this car is I did buff both headlights. They actually turned out pretty well. When I got them, they were pretty hazy and had oxidation, like, you know, uh, these cars normally do. Not just these cars, but kind of any car of it car of its age this is an 07 due to age they can get oxidation all i did was kind of hit it with compound and polish and it actually turned out very well and i also did the front kind of uh daytime running lights and turn signals also i replaced the hood crest so the one that was on here was pretty worn looking and i actually had an extra one from a 996 that i owned before because in the 996 that I owned before, I did swap that emblem with a silver and black one. So I just kept the OEM one. And the person who bought the silver one liked the silver and black. So um, I ended up temporarily swapping that. Uh, but I do have a new one coming. It's like a, a brand new hood crest. So I just wanted to put this video out because I'm super, super excited for this car. Because I've always wanted a wide body yellow 9971 c4s and um super excited for the plans uh, i don't want to go over that in this video what i'm going to do is actually be putting out videos as the modifications come in and if it's something that i can do myself i'll do you know kind of like a diy video uh so in case you guys want to do the same modifications to your vehicles you'll have a general idea how but i wanted to put this video out just because i have ordered just about everything for this car already so as modifications start to roll in uh, we're going to be installing the modifications on the car and getting it ready so um, i'm going to be going to impact you know the huge bmw show out at pocono and my goal is to kind of have this car completed by then and that's in about a month so i have about a month to transform this car but based off how things are going right now i'm confident that i'll be able to get it done in time so that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope you're excited as i am uh, i absolutely love these cars and you know if i could afford to keep it and experience other cars i absolutely would but at this time i can only afford to really do one at a time but who knows, maybe this will be the car that I end up keeping and maybe I'll try to start saving up and, and getting another car so I can actually have multiples. Um, I did really like the Bentley a lot. It was a solid grand touring car. Not even really comparable to the 911 just because the 911 is a sports car. You know, the Bentley is a, is a GT car. So completely different purpose. You know, ultimately like my dream garage would be to have like a, a, a Gen 2 Bentley GT like I just had. I would love to have a 997, 911, and also like a NA1 Acura NSX. I absolutely love those cars, and I did have one before, but the only thing is, is if you can only have one car, while I really like the aesthetics of 
an NA1 NSX, at the end of the day, it's over 30 years old. So the interior definitely feels dated and you start to deal with 30 year old car problems. So otherwise, I'm super happy uh, with this car. I'm super excited to start modifying it and uh, excited to see what you guys think. So let me know. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, consider liking and subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.